All right, how's it going, Stop D Nation? Welcome to Friday. Um, it is the uh, time for us to open some Team of the Week packs. Uh, we got the League versus League. We're going to get Dally Alley, and you're going to be like, hey, how did you get Dally Alley when it's only been like two days of tournaments? We're going to show you uh, some ways that you might not have known that you can actually get some of those League tokens. So if you're like wanting to get to them, there's actually two things you can do to get the uh, get achievements and actually get the League versus League shields faster than just winning the tournament. So we're going to claim it here. We're going to go into here. We get our three league points here. Um, the other thing you can do is if you go into the activities, uh, first of all, you can see we completed our verse attack match, but there's actually some over here um, in the uh, in the leagues where if you go into the league and you get um, 32 people in the league, you get five points for that and you get one point there uh, for joining a league as well. So different ways that you can actually save up points there. So if we go into the campaign, we go into our league rewards, we can see here Deli Alley, he's going to cost us 10. We have 10. I was a little bit nervous. I wasn't actually going to have 10. We got 10, so we're going to claim him now and get our exclusive League versus League Master. Deli Alley, beautiful card right there. Very nice. A dribbling skill boost. Um, 77 pace, 78 shooting. So not the fastest pace on there, but some very good, excuse me, a very good stats as we go on to that one. I'm guessing he probably has his own unique uh, training tokens like uh, like the Ronaldo card so we'll see what happens with there um, but now we can start to get yeah so you can see the league versus league training goes on there you can start to build those up as you win your league tournament so there he is our new addition to the team I'm not sure if you'll actually make it into the lineup because we got some pretty good midfield players going on right now but if we put him in just to see how this goes here so our center mid our center mid position right now um, we'll uh, train him. We'll see what you have to do to train him. Yeah, we don't have anything we can do to train him. So you're going to have to build him up either with the skill boost or through his special training tokens as well. But there he is, the Deli Ali card on the team right now. We're swapping back out. We got Ronaldo playing on the left wing there, although he's gone now. He's missing. All right, well, we'll have to deal with that later. We'll deal with that later because what I want to do now is go look at the team of the week. Uh, so you saw the video before. You can go into the team of the week. Um, live event and there is the option of basically playing through the live event and getting this week one challenge pack now What's interesting about this is you have all these different chances of rewards You do need to pull the master player in order to unlock uh, the player of the month So that's the card that we definitely want to go to um, What I found kind of interesting about this what I think would be really cool with this is if they kind of did what they do on pads Like with the box method, you know where it's like every player can be pulled once It's just like the order necessarily that you pull it in I feel like you know so if you do this 11 times a set 11 times which is a fair amount of times But if you did 11 times you'd get every player. I don't know because they're not auctionable I feel like that would be kind of cool. So if you're going to keep them non auctionable that would be kind of my advice. I know there are a lot of people have different suggestions of how we can make Team of the Week better um, because I think it's a great program. I like the idea of it, but, you know, only big, taking it to luck, basically, to get this final card, I don't know how much I agree with that. But if it was the box thing, then it's like, okay, you know, you could use some, maybe you'd have to do, like, less packs and stuff you could open, or maybe the packs wouldn't guarantee it, but only the live event. That would be cool. Only the live event guarantees that you get a unique player each time. But anyways, those are kind of some of my thoughts on that. Let me know what you think of the team of the week. Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying the game? Um, all in all, I definitely really like the program. I just wish that there was a little bit more of a chance to kind of, you know, grind your way through it on that side as well. But we're going to go into the store. Uh, the interesting thing about the store is, again, only only the FIFA cash for the Team of the Week pack and the Team of the Week bundle. I think kind of what they're trying to do with this is make like a grinding a currency so that you spend your coins on leveling, which is probably a good thing. I don't want to waste my coins on packs. I'm more going to put it into uh, leveling my players, stuff like that to build up my own team. Um, but it does also, you know, have that drawback of not opening up uh, the different packs and stuff like that. The packs, though, themselves, pretty beastly. Six Team of the Week players in the pack and the bonus of four gold plus from the bundle, bundle topper. Um, here, we can get ourselves a million coins and 175,000 training XP uh, from the Ultimate Training Pack. I don't think I'm going to open that right now. I might hang off on that one. I'm kind of liking trying to grind my way for the different leveling. Like, we're picking up the packs, stuff like that. But I kind of like having to, like, you know, get use our coins, use our stuff for there. So for now, I'm going to kind of, I guess we're not really free to play because we're picking up these packs. But in, in terms of, like, leveling, using those things, we'll go a little bit more on that route. As we go into the Team of the Week, here it is. We get four Gold Plus players, ten Team of the Week packs. And these are all the players we can get. Can we get them all? Can we get a full team? Because that would be some sweet gameplay. A full team, Team of the Week theme team. Trying to come from here as we start off with some silver players. There you go. There's our first gold and another gold and all right, three golds out of that one. So three gold team of the week players out of there. Um, it would be really cool if you could do it in like every week we build up to like a hundred overall, but that would be pretty much impossible to do. But it would be cool to see. Maybe one week we'll do like one team of the week team that we like really build up. Or every okay, 
here's what's happening every arsenal player that makes it on the team of the week they're going in the team and we're gonna build up we're gonna do like a special edition arsenal team now that i'm thinking of it this sounds like the greatest thing ever we're gonna do a sweet series with that every arsenal player that makes it in there is gonna make it on and we're gonna do like a special edition theme team arsenal from all the cool players throughout the season they get special cards team of the weeks everything like that but anyways on to the next one pack four elite no elites right now we're still waiting on that master card as we go to our next pack right now pack five of eleven Silvers are out of the way. Silvers are out of the way and golds towards the end. So a bunch of golds again. Or at least to a trade and set might be nice. Putting some of these golds into a, an upgrade, something like that. We get a couple new players, uh, but not a whole lot out of that one. I do definitely want to try and get a full team fill. That would be pretty fun. Anyways, on to the next pack. 75. This got to be an elite. No. No elites right there. No elites at all in that team of the week pack as we go on to pack number 8. Pack number eight. I feel this being the lucky pack. I feel this being the lucky pack. Not so much. Not so much as we move on to pack number nine. Maybe we'll do a couple. Probably do try two of these packs as we go through in this one and build up lots of gold. So that means no elites again. No elites again. Pack 10. We're already in pack 10 with zero elites getting pulled here as we go. Ooh, 77 overall. I was hoping maybe that would be a good sign towards it, but it looks like it's not going to happen. Our final one, no elites in this entire pack. Not too happy about that part, but can we turn it around? No, we cannot in that one. So our first one got us absolutely nothing. We had great luck when we were actually opening those ones in the uh, in the store earlier, but this not so much for us as we go through a next one. Trying to get any elites. Zero. Zero elite so far. So we're going through another one. Come on. One elite. One elite. One elite. Ah. And I don't even have a chance to pull like a master card. I feel like that'd be cool too. Like you need to, although maybe some weeks they will have master cards for team of the week. I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, but I would, I guess, like to kind of have a chance to pull a master card, something like that out of it. Maybe just like randomly, like no team of the week player, but you get yourself a arsenal player that we can put up to being a master and two more right wing backs. There's a lot of duplicates in this team of the week. I feel like it's not just a starting 11. It seems to be more than just starting 11 in here. I think I saw like two right wing backs. As we go ahead, maybe I'm just like, I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what's going on. Here we go. Pack number six. Silver, silver. Come on. Elite. Ugh, I want to see that Mertens card. I want to see the Master card so we can get the team player of the month. We're going for it, but it's not working so well. We do pull a 79 and then get the Arsenal player there at the end. So there you go. 79. Not bad, actually, uh, for pace and everything on that card as well. Actually, I didn't look at the pace. The one stat I saw, which I don't actually think was pace. But anyways, on to the next pack. Four, three, two, one. Ugh. This is hurting. This is hurting. The pack luck here is really hurting. I'm hoping if you decide to do this, you get actually good pack luck. Because this pack luck has been awful. Awful. Like, really awful. And I don't know what to think about that. I don't know what to think about that, but I'm hoping we can turn it around in the final pack. The final pack does not turn it around. All those elites are evading us. All of the elites. There was like five of them that we could pull, and we have not pulled a single one. Ooh. Oh, it's all gold. We're on the topper now. The topper. No elites in two bundles. Two of them, and we didn't pull a single elite. So there's five elites that we have a chance for. I kind of feel like I should do a third just to see like if it's even possible to get an elite we're gonna do a third for the sole purpose to see if we can open 15,000 FIFA cash worth and get zero elites because it's sort of like this is the worst pack odds since like we pulled a really good pull, pull player player the, the purple player uh, yeah come on we got to increase this a little bit I think um, no elites again what am I gonna have to do what are you gonna have to do to get ourselves the elite master show me something Show me anything. Come on. That's this is 33 packs right now. This is gonna be 33 of packs with zero elites, and it's not gonna happen on that pack either. I love this game. I really, really love this game, but I am not a big fan of these pack odds right now as we go through another 71 overall card. Gotta give me something. I feel like I need to do one of those like premium packs after just to like you know, maybe get something good, like like an elite or something like that. I feel like I gotta mix this up because these team of the week packs. They're saddening me. They are making me sad. They're making Stop D Dog sad. Stop D Dog's over there sleeping. She just, we're sleeping through these packs. That's that's the kind of luck we're getting right now as we go through. Maybe we need to do like a reveal all tactic. All right, we're gonna reveal all this one. 
We're going to reveal all. Reveal all gets us more gold, so it doesn't actually change it there. We are going to go through three of them. Three of them with zero elites. The chance is not really a chance, it looks like, as we go another gold card there. Another gold Team of the Week card. Um, it would be interesting, too, if like only Team of the Week players boosted up Team of the Week players. I don't know if that's the case. Maybe it is, but anyways. Finally! Oh, my goodness, and it's a repeat. It's a duplicate. It took three of them and we finally get them we can't auction them and we already have them though so we pull the duplicate card out of there <sighs> very bittersweet out of three of them the only card we end up getting is a duplicate um i kind of feel like we need to move on to something else here let's just do one of these packs let's do this premium players pack let's do like two so premium players packs i don't know a couple premium players packs and see what kind of luck we can get maybe we can at least turn it around in these premium packs with some elite pulls all right, the premium packs start in the exact same way as the other packs as we go on to our next premium pack. Come on, give me something. Turn this around for us. Turn this around for us. No, 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 no. Oh, bother. All right, here we go. Premium pack again. We're gonna do two more premium packs. This one's taking a while to load. It's gotta be good. It's gotta be good because our luck has been awful for these ones. I do like the pull. I'm not complaining about the topper pull except for the fact that we have one and we can't auction it. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with the card. I guess we're gonna have to put him into his own set to actually like level him up. We're gonna level up the keeper with the keeper. All right, here we go. Final premium pack. And then we'll go see like how many players we can actually fit onto our team as we get no elites out of the four premium packs right there. So the luck is not on or the drop rate is very low. One of those two things. I'm hoping that it's just the drop rate and you guys are getting be much better luck than I am on these ones as we go into, and I'm not the drop, I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyways, here we go. Into our team. Let's go to our team. So we have our player. We can train him. Hopefully we can even put, the, yeah, we can actually put the trainer in. So I guess that's the one nice thing is we can use it to boost him up. Um, so he does go up like a whole level from that, uh, which is nice. Um, and the stats on this card are like ridiculous. Look at this. 87 diving, 89 reflexes. Like this is going to be a beastly card. It's probably going to be a pretty end game card um, in the end. But for a lot of our other positions, um, we do have a bunch of different positions that we can put into this one. So maybe we'll try and pick up a line see how close we get to some of those ones. But anyways, thank you for checking this out and stopping by. It's been a pleasure as always. Stop D, out.